after Fat Joe denounced rappers for attempting to drag their rivals into legal problems during their feud. Jail for 10 years, 15 years. I don't think it's cool for hip hop beef to be like, yeah, go get him. He does this, he does that. That's jail. Now, you think it's- of their rivals and perhaps implicating them. I don't believe it's cool for hip hop conflict to be like, yeah, go get him. If I have beef with another rapper or DJ and that guy is fighting the law and might end up in jail for 10 or 15 years, he performs this and that. That's prison, he started. You may think it's hip hop and enjoyable, but R. Kelly is actually serving a life sentence in prison. One of the most talented, well-known, and infamous performers ever possibly the best of all time is serving a life sentence in prison. I'm not telling you what he did. I'm just telling you that you can go to prison. You will be sent in jail. There is no such thing as being too famous to go to jail. I'm talking about everybody, guys, he said. I'm not referring to any particular person. However, it's not cute for me to try to ruin your reputation, rub in your face, or make accusations against you because I want to sell more records or get higher ratings, if I have rap rivalry with you. And this has really been truly happening in an awesome way lately, where men that I love and respect, are acting like it's hip-hop beef, when they see other artists or individuals in vulnerable situations. Yes, he did indeed do this and that. No, he might spend 10 years in prison, and be unable to provide for his family. And why do you think the man is going to jail? This is trash from real life. Rick Ross sought to draw connections between Fat Joe's remarks and 50 Cent's recent criticism of Diddy, who he accuses of being behind Tupac's murder, despite Fat Joe's insistence that his remarks weren't directed at any one person. 